Here's the question. My requirement is to import DDL only, but when I imported the data pump file, I did not get any Peel SQL modules. Now that's all the information I had on this question. And I wasn't entirely sure what the entire scenario is. So what I did was I simply did some tests and I thought I'd share them with you and show you a couple of the idiosyncrasies with data pump import. I actually couldn't get to a state a situation where I didn't get my Peel SQL modules imported. But we'll go through some things and get some good learning done anyway. So I'm going to do all of this in the Scott schema on database 18. It doesn't really matter what version data pump's been around since Oracle 10. I've got the standard tables in the Scott schema, emp, depth, department, et cetera, et cetera. But just to make sure there is some Peel SQL in there, I'm going to create a little routine called myproc. And as you can see, it's not the world's most sophisticated procedure, but it'll do for the purpose. You can see I've got bonus step, emp and sale grade and my procedure there called myproc. What I'm going to do is now do an export data pump and actually unload the entire Scott schema to a flat file. And that'll be our use for things importing. So you can see I've unloaded the uh, Scott schema to a file. And now we're going to explore some of the means in which we do an import of a data pump. To clear out my schema, I'm going to drop all the tables and drop my procedure. And now the first thing you can see, it's empty. And the first thing I'll do is now import it in. And this is how we import just DDL. You can see there I've got that extra parameter called content equals metadata only. That's our indication to data pump to say only please import the DDL and not the actual row data itself. That's finished. You'd imagine there's only 20 rows in the Scott schema and just a few tables. And as I said at the start, I couldn't actually replicate the example of actually not getting the source. Using content equals metadata only, you can see I get the four tables and I get the Peel SQL source back as well. Um, so unfortunately I couldn't replicate and because I don't have the entire scenario there, that's the best I could do. But even so, it's worth exploring this a little bit further to see where things can be interesting when it comes to import data pump. I'll drop everything again so I can do another import data pump. Now, if you're a dinosaur like myself, you're probably used to old export and old import. And there was never a parameter called content equals metadata only in export and import. And so you yeah, definitely have to go fishing around the manuals and find out what is there. But for those that don't know, one of the cool things in data pump that came along, I think in 11.2 is what we call legacy mode. And you can see here, now I'm doing an import data pump with rows equals no. That is an invalid parameter for data pump. It's a valid parameter for export. But one of the nice things it actually shows you, we actually have here, it says, ah, you did rows equals false or rows equals no. I know what you meant. You meant it to be met content equals metadata only. Data pump will now try to interpret your old style export commands and actually replace them with the correct data pump commands. That's very cool indeed. And as you can see, it loaded my tables in and it still worked just as before. I got my, my PL SQL and my rows, no problems there. One thing that's interesting there is, as you can see, there's no rows in the employee table. As we said, we said rows equals no. But you can see hopefully on the screen there as we've got a bit of a drama now because I did import the tables. I didn't import the data, but notice the stats. The stats come along with a data, a data pump import. It says there are actually 14 rows in that table. That's a drama because in reality, there are actually no rows in that table. I might not want those stats to be put in. Let's drop all the rows again. Let's now try another legacy parameter, one that came from export import, statistics equals none. And I wanted to show this example because even though data pump legacy mode has some good things like it managed to replace rows equals false with content equals metadata only, when it stores statistics equals none, I said, yes, that's a legacy parameter. I know what that is. And I just ignored it. Well, that's not what it used to do in old import. Statistics equal none used to do no stats. Unfortunately, it just ignored it. So when we go look at the table, we can actually see it actually did put the stats back in, even though we said stats equals none. So legacy mode is good in the main, but there's a few little gotchas that you need to be careful of. If I drop it again, if I want to actually use the correct parameter, it's exclude equals statistics. And in that case, 
I can mix and match the legacy parameters, but statistical statistics is the correct data prompt parameter. And now you can see no stats came in. And so that's sort of just to show you a few little bits and pieces about how input data pump has a few little anomalies, a few little idiosyncrasies that you need to be aware of. Thank you.